Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 136 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. Let's take our first break. Not too intense, nothing too crazy, but getting my body going on today. Let's see. Yep, 110, right on it. I don't know if you noticed, but wearing a sweatshirt, sweatpants, not wearing a beanie and scarf because I need to be able to breathe. <laughs> but it is cold. Even though the snow is melting outside, it is still too cold in here. Probably because this place is packed with snow. And this is like a refrigerator. <laughs> Actually, I feel like it's warmer outside than what it is in here. So, I opened the door. I woke up, got ready. Opened the door to let the dog out. I was like, huh, it's not that cold. Might be able to work out with t-shirt at least. T-shirt, shorts, questionable. Until I came in here and then I was like, oops, nope, going back in. 
going back in for a sweatshirt and pants. Oh. All right, so first set is done. Uh, we'll do two more short sets. We'll try to make them quick. And then we'll do the other exercises. The leg raises and the cocoons. This sweatshirt is kind of big on me now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. It's this big. Actually, this sweatshirt was always big on me. <laughs> well, even when I was bigger. Uh, now the pants, on the other hand, they fit fine. And then I washed them and something happened. They shrunk at the bottom and then they expanded on top. Yeah, mess. Anyway, time is up. And here we go again. Take another break. Not too bad for a guy with asthma. Two more sets of this exercise, and then we'll go to the floor. Just to do a few leg raises and cocoons. That should be it for the day. And I know I, yesterday I said that today's video was most likely going to be inside. Well. As you can see, <laughs> I did the exercise inside. Well, I haven't done it yet, but in the future, <laughs> you're seeing myself there. 
doing the other part of the cardio of the day. Oof. Hopefully it's not too distracting. I'm just playing that exercise during the breaks. That's it. And now I'm working out because then it will be too distracting. <clears throat> but at least it's just an evidence that I actually do some other form of, form of cardio on a semi-regular basis when my live schedule allows it. All right, just a few more seconds to go. Talking about live schedule, definitely working tonight. I'm seeing third shift. Third shift in the winter time. It's it's crazy. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but have to do it. Part of life. Gotta go to work. All right, time is up and here we go. Let's go for another break. It's getting warm in here. At least inside of the sweatshirt. My hands are still cold. Heart rate is elevated enough. Timer still halfway there. We have one more set of this exercise. And then we'll sit for the rest of the exercise of the day. Hey. 
Nose is running, can't catch it. <laughs> oh. All right, so. After this set, we'll do drag races and cocoons and call it a day. Just three exercises for today. I was thinking or considering about doing leg races hanging on here. But I know my hands can't hold me there for too long. I know I can use the hooks, but I don't know. I'm still debating it. All right, getting ready for our last set. This exercise. Mm -hmm. Feels like my heart rate comes down really fast. <laughs> I'm recovering faster for some reason. <sighs> I remember the beginning of this journey. One of one set of those push-up burpees. I was out of gas, like fast, like that. <sighs> Not saying that I'm way better now but I'm definitely I can definitely feel the difference now all right time is up man my hands are freezing cold and here we go Take another break. Probably driving you insane with the noise in the microphone. But don't worry, it's over. <coughs> Sorry about that. Let's bring this camera down, which I don't know if you were able to see the push-ups. Hey, I was doing push-ups. <laughs> All right, let's bring this thing over here without getting it too dizzy.
Put the camera now and do this like every other week. All right, that should be fine. If it's not, uh, which isn't, <laughs> I'll move it again. Don't worry. Luckily, we still have time. There we go. Oh. Woo. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Something in my throat. I don't know what it is. First set of leg raises <clears throat> just in a few seconds. I need to take advantage of every single break since my breathing is very restricted. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Take a break and reset the camp, which I should have done it when I moved the camera. Oh. Oh. First set of leg races complete. Uh, feedback uh, felt every rep that I did past 10. <laughs> so, all the way up to 10, I was like, eh, it's okay. And then, past 10, I was like, okay, now we're talking. So, In actuality, I felt the last 10 reps I did. And at rep number 15, I had to kind of take a break. <laughs> <clears throat> Running out of gas at that point. And then I started pushing myself on the next reps. Something that I need to keep in mind is that when my brain gets the signal that things are getting difficult, I need to take over and consciously keep pushing myself. Trying to keep a good form too. 
not that you can mess up the leg raises too much besides swinging it up and down uh, <clears throat> other than that there are not many not many ways to cheat on the exercise so that's a good thing about it uh, less things to worry about that could go wrong besides keeping a good pace and a good form keep going up and down On the cocoons, uh, same thing. Um, not many ways you can cheat, especially if you are on the floor. If you're on a bench like I like to be, you can sort of cheat. If you grab the bench and uh, use it as leverage to go back and forth, that's kind of cheating the exercise. Uh, you're only doing maybe half of the work or your core is doing half of the work. All right, time is up. And I am keeping this thing because <laughs> it is still cold in here. All right, here we go. Let's take a break. As I was doing this exercise, that particular exercise, I forgot that I was supposed to be doing twists at the beginning of the video while I was resting off the burpees. Failure on my end. So, uh, twists, I guess I have to do them throughout the day, <laughs> if I remember. <laughs> uh, have fish memory. All right, I'm still ticking. That was the second set of this exercise. Two more sets to go, and then we'll close the day with cocoons and today was supposed to be a short video but it is not and it's my day off today I mean from working out this is my day off uh, someone is not too happy inside the house uh, we're gonna get Chinese today <laughs> So let me finish this and I'll go over to China and get some food. That's the plan. All right. Uh, if, you, uh, if you are wondering about Chinese food, yes, Chinese food is perfectly loaded with a lot of calories, like a lot of calories, probably too many calories. And I'm not talking about Chinese from actually China, what Chinese people eat. I'm talking about Chinese food that is sold in restaurants or uh, little Chinese food joints. Lots of calories. Some of them, some of the restaurants have the calories listed on the window. 
on the wind or on the menu, uh, you gotta add at least a 30% to whatever they say. Just to be on the safe side, 30% because that food is too good. I mean, it's either too a lot of sweet, it's very sweet, and the portions are humongous. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the calories is a little bit off. Uh, I think that they are required to be within 20%. <clears throat> within 20% of the calorie that they the calories they claim. Uh, but I'll say 35 just to be on the safe side. So yeah, so I'm gonna be a day with a lot of calories today. However, that's not an excuse to go over my calories. Time is up. Here we go. All right, let's take another break. So I was talking about the calories. Woo. Even eating Chinese today. That will push me really close to my uh, calories, calories goal or the calories I need to be under. Oof. It will push me really close to it. However, I need to do a certain modifications to the rest of the day in order for me to not be hungry at the end of the day. Because that is the, that's the important part of a diet. If you're hungry on a diet, that diet might not be too good for you. And I'm talking about just the average person that wants to lose fat, wants to lose weight. Average person wants to lose weight on a diet. If you're hungry, I don't think that's a good diet. Because hunger will just make you cheat on your diet, will make you eat something. You just wait until 11.59 and stuff your face. Nope. <clears throat> the perfect diet is the one that will keep your, your calories under control, not exceeding a certain level. Uh, and you are full or not full, but satisfied the entire day. That will be the perfect diet. I particularly don't have a diet. <laughs> I just watch my calories and and from time to time, well, depending on what point of the day, I make changes to make sure that whatever I eat after my, uh, what do I call it? My desired meal, I eat something that will definitely satisfy me, will keep me full for the rest of the day. So, something to keep in mind. All right, so uh, we have one more set of this leg raises, I think. And then we'll go with the cocoons. Just a few more seconds to go. And yes, it is still cold in here. My hands are freezing cold. Just have a sip of this before we go. On the last set, B 
because time is up. And here we go. Take another break. Oh, right before we go into the cocoons. Whew. I almost fell on that exercise that I set. Uh, I wasn't really thinking about much about the exercise, just going back and forth. And then there was the point where I almost came back up <laughs> and I had to take over and do a few more reps above that point. <sighs> Something to keep in mind. <sighs> All right, where is this thing at? Uh, because we have, oh, we still have plenty of time, like 15 minutes. <sighs> Got to take my multivitamins today. As soon as I get out of here, I'll take them and go to the Chinese. Oh. All right. Somehow my body still is thanking me for being done with the leg races. <laughs> Uh, leg braces are like probably the best core exercise or ab exercise I've done. I feel every rep or most of them. I know that doing hanging on the bar is way more efficient. However, I can't hang in there for too long. Um, so, well, I used to do them on a dip bar, one of them dip stands. You could just sort of sit there, but sit on your on your elbows, and then lift your legs. That used to be good. Back in the day when I almost had abs. <laughs> uh, the closest to having abs was probably 10 years ago. Eh, maybe a little more than 10 years ago. But yeah. All right, time is up. And here we go with the cocoons, first set. It's gonna be difficult, but here we go. Whoa. 
take a break. Oh. Oh, I remember last week I was having some sort of pain. Not last week, but the, the, the week before when I did this exercise last. Some sort of pain, I couldn't really do this exercise. But now I'm brand new. Let's go for it. <laughs> Three more sets to go. <sighs> yep. Oh. Did I mention I had to reschedule my chiropractor's appointment? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I had to reschedule it. <sighs> Schedule for Monday. Can you believe that? Schedule for Monday afternoon. Afternoon because I don't want to wake up early to go to <laughs> chiropractor. As excited as I am to go, I'm, I don't feel like waking up early to do that i my schedule is crazy enough for me to have another thing to do on one of my days off now i should have scheduled it on a day like today which is my day off from working out but nope uh, weather didn't like that that's the ooh, that's one thing the weather Somehow my phone died. I don't know, it turned off by itself. I don't know how long we have on this break now. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. And it had, it had plenty of charge. I don't know why it died. Technology. <laughs> Maybe it didn't like what I was talking about. <laughs> up again. What the hey is going on here? It's still a means dead. Maybe it's the cold in here. It's killing the battery. <sighs> yeah, I guess it is. It was 60% when I came in here today. <clears throat> well, 68, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. All right. While that thing goes on, we're going to assume that the three minutes are off. Even if they're not in the time right here, we're gonna go for the next set of cocoons. Here we go. All right, let's take a second break of this exercise. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. All right, time is ticking again. I don't even know what I was talking about when I found out that the phone was not Keeping track of the time. Oh, well, that's that set there felt real good. I believe that was the second set of the cocoons. Two more sets, and I'm out of here. Uh, 
Maybe I was talking about the chiropractor. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah, I was talking about not waking up early. I don't want to wake up early to go to the chiropractor. So that's why I made the appointment for the afternoon on my day off from work. Which is a, which it, which I still need to figure it out when I'm gonna work out that day because if I wake up at 11 or noon yeah, early day I'm not gonna be able to spend an hour in here get ready well, I might. It's just that I'm not in a rush. I try not to rush myself. Try. Life is too short to rush things around. <sighs> but I don't know. I really don't think I'll be working out after the chiropractor. So chances are I'll be working out before I go. Yeah. I might have to wake up early to exercise and then go to the chiropractor. Sounds like a plan. Yep. Oh. All right, time is almost up. Phone hasn't died. Uh, I've encountered every every single type of uh, technical difficulties in this journey. Battery issues, camera issues, memory card issues, cell phone issues. <laughs> uh, you name it. All of them. All right. Time is up. And here we go with the third set of these cocoons. Here we go. break oh Can you believe it we are at the end of the video one more break and we're done oh. floor needs clean again I need to mop it up feels good Let's see, today's day 136. Uh, when, 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 when? I said that, yeah. I said that day 151. It's when I'm going to have another picture update. I'll be weighing myself. I should be under 180 pounds by now. How much under? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess you'll find out eventually. <laughs> eventually you'll find out. Uh, so I'm still taking on a very last break. Um, now weight going down doesn't necessarily mean I'm losing fat weight going up doesn't necessarily mean I'm getting fat. Uh, I am sure I'm gaining some muscle. How much? I have no idea. I'm too lazy to even measure my <laughs> my fat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should do that one of these days. <laughs> Maybe for day 151, I'll weigh myself, take the picture, and measure my body fat percentage yep and see how 
I progressed from then to the end of the journey, which is day 300. Just a few more seconds and we're gonna go in for the last set of cocoons. I know some of you don't like that word, but it's not about liking it, it's the name of the exercise. <laughs> uh, and here we go. I mean, time is not up yet, but we're gonna go for it anyway. Felt that one for sure. Well, that is it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.